Finally, with your NCLEX review question of the day. So like always, go ahead and pause the video, go through the question, go through the answer options, kind of picking out your keywords, brainstorming what you know about the topics and seeing if you can select the right answer and then come back and we'll go through it together. Okay, our question today, a patient with diabetes mellitus has a right below the knee amputation. Given the patient's history of diabetes mellitus, which complication is the patient at most risk for after surgery? So some key words. Um, so diabetes mellitus, and he's had a recent amputation. So a patient with diabetes mellitus has a recent amputation. So given the history of diabetes mellitus, which complication is the patient at greatest risk for? Okay, so A, hemorrhage, B, edema or swelling of the residual limb, C, slight redness of the incision, or D, separation of the wound edges. So we know a patient with diabetes or diabetes as a disease process in itself causes delayed wound healing. Uh, just you know, due to the disease process. So with that delayed wound healing, let's go through our answer options again. Um, so A, hemorrhage, and B, edema or swelling of the residual limb. These are things that all patients are going to be at risk for immediately after surgery. Um, it is not specific to a patient with diabetes. Slight redness of the incision is going to be completely normal postoperatively. And then D, separation of the wound edges. So separation of the wound edges um, is dealing with kind of delayed wound healing. Patients with diabetes um, are at risk for this. Um, so D would be our answer. Again, kind of going through, we know a patient with diabetes um, has delayed wound healing. Um, a and B are both expected in all patients post-op, and then C is expected as well. So D is going to be our only uh, quote-unquote complication that a patient with diabetes is at risk for.